Arkham Knight Batman, one of the best characters to ever be released in the game Injustice. His amazing versatility backed up by his sensational passive makes him a popular choice for many teams. Not to be outdone, his counterpart Dawn of Justice Batman is also a great choice. Today, I'll compare both these two Batman characters and see which one comes out on top. So let's get to it. First of all, let's compare their stats. Arkham Knight Batman boasts a damage stat of 46,980 and a health stat of 94,770. These stats alone make him a considerable um, character and make him, and really do make him a force to be reckoned with within the Injustice game. Comparing this with Dawn of Justice Batman, his damage stat is 50,895 and his health stat is 87,480. So Arkham Knight Batman does have the higher health stat, but Dawn of Justice Batman has a higher damage stat, so they each get one point. Now let's, let, let's compare their basic combos. Arkham Knight Batman's swipe combo is really good. It has good range, does a good amount of damage, and at the same time it can help you build a power really quickly. It's also chainable, meaning you can continuously use it right after um, each uh, swipe combo. His tap combo, however, is different. His tap combo is faster, so you could use it to disrupt or interrupt enemy basic combos, but it does give the opponent more time to recover, so it is harder to chain. But it's still quick and does a good amount of damage, which makes it quite good. So if we compare this with Dawn of Justice Batman's swipe combo, it's also very good, but it requires more skill to use. You have to really know how to use the character well in order to use it. It's, it also does good amount of damage, and because of the higher damage stat, it does more damage, but it's harder to chain. His tab combo is also very good. The beginning part of his tab combo is similar to Arkham Knight Batman's tab combo, and it's, it's, I, I'm gonna say that Arkham Knight Batman gets the edge because of his, how, his better range with his combos and how you can chain it more easily. Now let's compare special moves and super moves. Arkham Knight Batman has a devastating first special, which consists of multiple batterings smashed at his opponent. His second special is also amazing, as he smashes down on his opponent and delivers a knockout blow. And even if his second special is blocked, it does a high amount of damage. However, Dawn of Justice Batman has an equally impressive first special, and it is identical to Arkham Knight Batman's first special, but it does more damage because of the higher damage stat. Now his second special is different from Arkham Knight Batman's, and it can do over 100,000 points of damage. It also consists of multiple hits, which have an evil, evenly spaced damage distribution, So, and, and it has a faster animation. The advantage with Arkham Knight Batman's second special is that it can be useful taking, for taking out characters such as Raven. But Dawn of Justice Batman's second special has a faster animation which makes it harder to block, and it can be useful for taking out multiple opponents. So, their super moves are essentially the same. The only difference is the Batmobile is different in both characters' super moves. The Batmobile in Arkham Knight Batman's super move consists from the game Arkham Knight for the PC and console version, and Dawn of Justice Batman's Batmobile comes from the movie Superman, Batman Superman Dawn of Justice. Now, I'm gonna say that in terms of special moves and super moves, I gotta give it to Dawn of Justice Batman since his special moves and super moves do a lot more damage. Explosive Veteran, for example, does 2,000 points more damage with Dawn of Justice Batman. His second special does 3,000 points uh, more damage, and his super move does 9,000 points more damage. So, Dawn of Justice Batman definitely gets it faster animation, you know, uh, more damaging specials, and this leaves both Batman characters at two points each. Now, we're gonna compare their passives. Both characters have an amazing passive. Arkham Knight Batman's passive can make him immune to uh, critical hits, give him the power make his special one extra strong, give him critical uh, buffs, make him immune to power drain and damage more time, so he's really flexible. But Dawn of Justice Batman's passive allows him to dodge devastating specials, such as death strokes for his special, and then he can come back, stun the opponent, and uh, deliver a knockout blow. However, his passive can be blocked. As you can see here, it was blocked, but it's still, it's still good. So at the end of the day, the flexibility that Arkham Knight Batman brings with his passive gives him the victory. And you can even start off with full power. So, Arkham Knight Batman takes this one. That's the video guys. Let me know what you think in the comments below. If there are other characters you want to see compared, let me know. Thanks for watching and make sure to subscribe.